Each time residents put their yellow lid recycling bin out for collection, its contents embark on an amazing journey. After collection, the items are taken to a material recovery facility, called a MRF for short, operated by Norma, the Northern Adelaide Waste Management Authority. On average, around 225 tonnes of material arrive at Norma's MRF every day. In busy holiday periods such as Christmas, this can rise to as much as 300 tonnes per day. The MRF is where items are recovered and sorted into secondary raw materials, so they can be recycled into new products. The bin badge of the yellow lid recycling bin shows the materials that can be recovered at the MRF. Plastic and glass containers, paper and cardboard, aluminium and steel cans. Before the recyclable items can be sorted, any large contaminants need to be removed. These can include textiles, nappies, crockery, batteries, gas bottles and other things which should not be placed into a recycling bin. A group of MRF sorters do this task by hand. Some days it is very difficult for them to pull out all of the contamination. You can help by ensuring you place only clean recyclable items shown on the bin badge into the yellow lid recycling bin. Non-recyclable material should be placed in your red lid general waste bin. Remember, if in doubt, throw it out. Sorting of items starts in the trommel. The trommel has two different sized holes. As it spins, glass pieces fall through the smaller holes and are directed to the glass recovery plant. Containers are separated via the larger sized holes. They pass over a bounce conveyor to remove any bits of paper and cardboard before being directed to the container sort line. The container sort line is where the MRF sorters separate the glass jars and bottles and different types of plastic containers by hand. It takes a lot of energy and concentration to be a MRF sorter who can pick out up to 60 containers per minute. To support the MRF sorters, Norma installed an autonomous robot in 2020. Its job is to retrieve any recyclable paper and plastic materials that may slip by the sorters. Plastic containers are sorted into different streams. The first is the high quality PET. Most clear soft drink and fruit juice containers are made of this type of plastic. The recovered PET items are compressed into bales, which are then sent to two different reprocessors in South Australia, where they are recycled back into plastic bottles and yarn to make clothing. The next plastic to be separated at the MRF is high-density polyethylene, or HDPE. Most detergent and milk containers are made from this type of plastic. After baling, these plastics are also sent to reprocessors in Australia for recycling into milk bottles, corrugated drainage pipe, pallets and outdoor furniture. Both PET and HDPE are high-quality, valuable plastics which can be recycled back into new products many times. Most other hard plastics are lower quality and have fewer recycling opportunities. Norma collects these together in its mixed plastic stream and they are sent to reprocessors in South Australia who further sort the plastics. They are then used to make packaging within the mining, nursery and construction industries. Food and beverage glass bottles and jars are sorted into clear, green, amber and mixed colours. The material is collected in containers, which, when full, are sent to a company in Adelaide that prepares glass for reuse. After being sorted further, the glass is sent to another SA company that uses it to make new glass bottles. Using this secondary raw material instead of sand from nature means precious natural resources are saved. Glass used for the packaging of food and beverage is one of the most recyclable materials in the world. It can be recycled over and over many times. Remember, however, that window and mirror glass and ceramics are not recyclable and should not be placed in the yellow lid recycling bin. After the glass and plastics are sorted on the container sort line, the next items to be separated at the MRF are the metal cans. Magnets pick up all ferrous materials and transfer them to a steel baler where the material is compressed. Each bale can weigh up to 700 kilograms. These are sent to a company in Adelaide that shreds the material so that it can be melted down and made into new steel. You can help by placing any small bits of steel such as beer caps and tin lids inside of a clean can and squashing it before you place it into the recycling bin. This ensures small bits of steel are recovered. Check that they are ferrous items by using a magnet. If it sticks, it can go inside the can. The final type of containers to be sorted at the Norma MRF are aluminium cans. As the cans travel along the conveyor belt, an eddy current, which uses a magnetic field to separate non-ferrous metals, directs them into a cage. When the cages are full, they are sent to a company in Adelaide to be further sorted into different can types and scrap aluminium for recycling. 
to see what happens to cardboard and paper, we need to head back to the trommel. The trommel directs all the fibrous material to a pair of ballistic separators. Here, any containers that might be present fall to another conveyor belt, which directs them to the container sort line. Meanwhile, the flat material is pushed forward to another team of MRF sorters who separate the cardboard from the paper. With the advent of online shopping, Norma has seen a large increase in the amount of cardboard that comes through its MRF. You can help Norma to recover cardboard and paper by ensuring you cut any large pieces down to no more than A3 size before placing them into your recycling bin. This way, they will be able to pass smoothly through the MRF equipment and also give you more space in your bin. One of the main things the MRF sorters have to look out for is soft film plastic that is mistakenly placed into the yellow lid recycling bins. This includes items like plastic bags and packaging. Because it is flat and lightweight like paper, it passes through the MRF machinery as if it were paper. This means it can get directed into the paper stream. If this happens, the recovered paper cannot be recycled. The MRF sorters have to work hard to take soft plastics out of the paper stream. You can help by keeping soft plastics out of the yellow lid bin. Place them in your general waste bin, not the recycling bin. Some glass bottles get broken in collection trucks and at the MRF. Because the MRF sorters need to use special protective gloves, they are unable to pick up tiny pieces of glass. Norma has come up with an innovative way to recover this material so that it is not lost to landfill. In 2020, the Norma MRF was expanded to include a new glass recovery plant. A series of conveyors, screens, magnets and air classifiers were installed to capture pieces of glass less than the size of a tennis ball. They are sent to downstream reprocessors who use the material to recycle back into glass and as a sand substitute in roads. By recovering household recyclables, Norma is able to separate, sort, prepare and supply them as secondary raw materials for reuse. Using resources over and over for as long as possible means that less need to be taken from nature. In addition to saving resources, money and the energy required to extract the resources are also saved. Through its material recovery operations, Norma is helping to power the circular economy, create jobs in recycling and remanufacturing and protect natural resources. By following the advice on the yellow lid bin badge, you are assisting Norma to do all this. Thank you for recycling right.